Hello, and welcome to the operation section of your Circupool RJ series, Electronic Chlorine Generator. This is what the salt system looks like in front of us. Its main purpose is to sanitize the pool. This device does this through electrolysis, by converting salt molecules in the water to a free form of chlorine. Before using your salt system, please keep in mind, it is important that the pool's water chemistry is balanced with proper levels. In order for the system to be able to operate, there must be a minimum level of salt in the pool water. Once the water is properly balanced with the system installed, it is ready for use. Think of the RJ Plus series as a chlorine generator. Set it to create a steady supply of chlorine for the pool, instead of buying and adding chlorine by hand. Your salt system consists of three components the control module, the cell, and the flow switch. The control module supplies power to the cell and allows you to customize the system's operation in order to meet your pool's unique needs. This is the electrolytic cell. This component creates chlorine as the water inside passes through and returns to the pool. For initial startup, you want to first apply power to the pool pump switch or timer controls. This should activate the RJ series system, and within moments the green LED lights for power and generate should be illuminated. During this time, you may also see the no-flow light flash for up to 60 seconds as your pump begins its operation. During this time, the system will also check that the cell is connected and may display a message on screen if it is not. During normal operation, the LCD display shows the power level or chlorine output level selected. Once powered on, you'll want to set the power level. This setting is unique to your pool size, use, chemical balance, weather, and environment. To find the chlorine output setting your pool needs right now, we suggest starting at a setting of 75% and adjust as needed over the initial startup period. Measure your available free chlorine in the pool after two to three days and adjust the chlorine output level accordingly. If the available chlorine is too high, lower the output level. If the available chlorine is too low, raise the output level. It will take a few adjustments to find the ideal setting for your pool. Once set for the pool's current needs, it should only take minor adjustments to the system's output level or pump run times throughout the season. In addition to the chlorine output level, there are two other factors that you can control which directly impact the resulting free chlorine level in the pool. One, hours of pump run time each day. For example, you can increase the run time of your pool system if you need more chlorination. Like any pool, ensure that your pump runs long enough for all the pool water to pass through the filter one and a half to two times a day, usually at least eight hours. This amount of time is typically more than sufficient for chlorination of the pool, but if the pool has high chlorine demand, running the pool pump longer allows for more chlorination. Make sure to measure your water chemistry and chlorine level on a regular basis. Two, in addition to how long the system runs, the water chemistry balance is the other critical factor that will determine the resulting amount of chlorine in the pool. Let's go over the controls and indicator lights that you'll use when operating the system in the future. The on-off button will activate the system when lit or deactivate the system when not lit. When the on-off button is not lit, this prevents the control module from energizing the electrolytic cell, and chlorine will not be generated. Important safety note, using the on-off button to turn the system off does not remove power from the control box. Always disconnect power at the circuit breaker prior to attempting any service procedure. Once powered on, you'll use the minus and plus buttons to raise or lower the system's power setting. This is the rate of chlorine production you'll use to customize operation for your pool's needs. The chlorine output is adjustable from 5% to 100% maximum power. Pressing the Super CL button turns on the Super Chlorination feature for when a larger amount of sanitizer is temporarily needed to contend with high bather loads, 
heavy rainfall, or cloudy water conditions. When Super CL is lit, it boosts the power level from its current percentage to its maximum output for 24 hours of your pump's run time. At the end of the Super CL period, the system will revert to its previously selected power percentage. To deactivate the Super CL feature, prior to the completion of the 24-hour runtime, simply press the Super CL button again. When the Salinity button is pressed, the LCD will display the average reading of the most recent salinity levels in the pool water. When first installed, the reading may display the last salinity readings taken at the factory. This average will begin to update with your pool's operation over the first 24 hours. This will remain lit momentarily and then will revert back to displaying the power level. Pressing the Snowflake button activates winter mode. This reduces the chosen chlorine output setting by half for periods of low chlorine demand during cool weather. When the Snowflake is lit, you will not be able to increase the power above 50%. When you press the menu button sequentially, it will cycle through system diagnostics and other information on the LCD display. You can find a listing of these menu items in your manual. The left and right arrows allow you to cycle through options for pool temperature, instant salinity, and cell version in the menu. Let's take a look at the LED indicator lights. The generate light is illuminated intermittently during normal operation and indicates that the system is currently generating chlorine. This light will be off during normal rest periods of the system's duty cycle. When flashing, the pool water is either too hot or too cold for chlorine generation. The no-flow light is illuminated when the flow switch has detected no water flow. This causes the cell to stop generating chlorine. A flashing no-flow light indicates that the flow is restored, but there will be a 60-second delay before generation is re-established. The remote light indicates the control module is controlled by a remote control system. When the low-salt LED is illuminated steadily, the salt level is too low and the cell has shut down. The salt level must be raised before operation is restored. As mineral scaling builds up in the cell after regular use, the system may temporarily display an artificially low salinity level. After fully cleaning your cell, it will begin to detect salinity normally again. When the high salt light is flashing, the salt level is higher than necessary. While flashing, the cell will continue to produce chlorine. When this light is illuminated steadily, the salt level is too high and the cell has shut down. The pool water must be diluted with fresh water before operation is restored. When the check cell light is illuminated steadily, the cell efficiency is greatly reduced and the cell has stopped producing chlorine. This will eventually happen with normal operation and at this point the cell simply must be cleaned. Be sure to inspect the cell after cleaning. Look through the cell to make sure there are no physical particles or blockages between the titanium plates. If after cleaning, the check cell light comes back on within 10 to 15 minutes of operation, verify salinity and cell type setting, and then continue to clean the cell again more thoroughly as needed. It is possible for cleaning to be necessary, even if debris or mineral buildup isn't immediately visible to the eye. Additionally, if inadequate water flow through the cell is not allowing titanium plates to be completely covered by water, this will also cause the system to experience a high amount of wear. If illuminated after thorough cleanings, verifying system parameters, and complete water coverage in cell, cell replacement may be necessary. This light takes priority over any salinity readings or indicator lights, as salinity readings may temporarily be artificially low during such conditions. When you press the menu button to cycle through system diagnostics and other information on the LCD display, you may see a negative sign in front of some diagnostic numbers during operation. 
This is normal and indicates the system is on one of its two reverse polarity cycles. At times you will see zeros for cell current and real-time salinity during normal operation. This simply indicates the system is in the resting portion of its duty cycle. No action is required on your part. This concludes operation for the RJ series salt chlorine generator. Please see our expected maintenance video to help you with future service. Thank you for choosing CircuPool Advanced Pool Systems.